You may see, be seeing some movement here now, guys, as we see uh, uh, some uh, members of, looks like the motorcade is beginning to slowly uh, leave uh, the courthouse, the uh, Wilkie uh, Ferguson Courthouse in downtown Miami, named after a legendary figure uh, here, of course, in South Florida, and uh, the former president, uh, Donald Trump, uh, and his entourage leaving uh, the courthouse after the former president was arraigned today on those federal charges uh, laid out in that indictment, which was unsealed last week. 37 uh, counts uh, essentially accu accusing the former president of violating the Espionage Act, of uh, holding on to classified documents when he shouldn't have, failing to return them in a timely manner. Uh, and so now uh, the former president uh, leaving, as we see that some of his uh, supporters there uh, and perhaps also some pro-Trump, uh, anti-Trump demonstrators, I should say, they're also gathered amongst that crowd as uh, he leaves the courthouse. So yeah. that was Northwest First Avenue and he just turned right onto Northwest Third Street, which will start taking him back towards the highway. And Jim, I want to go back to what you were saying because um, I, I could see how it would be in Trump's benefit to want to sort of team up on attorneys. But what is not a gain from that? You would think that uh, it would be in his his best line to sort of uh, have his own legal representation. Look, you don't know the relationship between Donald Trump and Walt Nauta. From what we understand, Walt Nauta is not a highly political person. He's a former Marine. Uh, and loyalty is a is a key attribute for him. That's what we are understanding. So for now, he is loyal to to the man who he's been closest to for the past couple of years, Donald Trump. You know, sometimes it's hard to get people to turn against those that they they love and respect. Eventually, that may change. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, and we know we know he was at the dinner last night in Doral with Trump. So, in the meantime, we're looking at the motorcade uh, leave, and, and Jim, uh, you said it turned out of the, the courthouse heading. Uh, uh, that, that was also, just... also Third Street, and so I'm guessing that they're probably headed over towards 95 to try to get on the highway <laughs> there. Then we see making a right turn, and traffic there is being uh, stopped, obviously, uh, so the motorcade can proceed. Um, and again, we're all looking to see if uh, the former president makes an unscheduled stop here in South Florida somewhere or if he heads right to uh, the airport uh, to, to fly out of South Florida after his arraignment here uh, in Miami on the, those charges, uh, 37 counts of him allegedly mishandling classified documents. Yeah, there was there was some discussion and there's some background that, that he may make a stop in Miami, you know, but but to be honest with you, court went a little later than mm -hmm. people thought, so that may affect it as well. Yeah, we expected it to be in and out. Not too terribly late, but we have been sitting here for about two hours now, and, and by all accounts, his next stop, according to reports, is going to be New Jersey for his big campaign rally, and he certainly has the ammunition he needs to uh, gather a lot of support. One thing we did not see today is the former president uh, make a stop to acknowledge any of the uh, people there, the crowd, the supporters, as well as the uh, anti-Trump demonstrators there. Uh, they were there, certainly out in force that we saw them and we had numerous reports from our, our reporters in the field uh, indicating the, the very strong uh, passions on both sides, uh, pro uh, and against the, the former uh, president. And as we see now, uh, the motorcade uh, moving onto the highway and it looks to be heading, hard to tell, can't see the signs, looks like they're heading south though, Jim. There is indication that he is going to make a stop. Uh, so we will keep, we will stay on this picture and just sort of see how that goes. And it could be, it could get interesting here in the next 10 minutes. And we see all the traffic that is at a standstill as the presidential motorcade um, makes its uh, tr trek here. And, and, and again, we're trying to determine exactly where the road is. Uh, looks like they might be... Well, you don't, we don't want to say exactly where they are because we're not sure. But anyway, the, the motorcade here uh, is, is moving at a, at a very uh, healthy clip. And so we'll just uh, stand by. You see all the traffic there at a standstill. The road completely clear. Uh, that looks like it's uh, I-95. Yeah, uh, it would make sense that they would jump on I-95 and then probably take 836 or yeah. get off. So we'll sort of see how that goes. That, that was the closest exit, to the major yeah. highway to get on out of the courthouse. So we will know soon enough. Yes, we will. Uh, former President Donald Trump, uh, again, arriving in South Florida uh, yesterday. Uh, he uh, hunkered down overnight at his uh, golf resort in Doral. Uh, shortly before, uh, around 1.30 this afternoon, uh, he uh, left there to uh, head to the 
a federal courthouse in downtown Miami, spent uh, almost two hours there where he was uh, arraigned on those 37 counts, uh, pleaded not guilty, as we expected, uh, on those charges of allegedly mishandling classified documents.